thank God in trials. Acts 16:25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Paul and Silas praised God. They thanked God, and they did this in the midnight hour when they were actually imprisoned, and they were not. Uh, just in prison but before this they were beaten very badly so uh, we we know that you know they were in pain and yet uh, they woke up faithfully to give praise to god they sang hymns uh, the bible says and there's something to learn from such worshipers who can thank god even in difficult times uh, are mature when we can continue to thank god when we do not understand you know why certain things are happening in our lives uh, even paul and silas uh, you know it's it's very interesting because paul wanted to go somewhere else uh, and god's spirit led him to uh, philippi where all of these things happened you know, he could have easily grumbled he could have easily said god you know i was on your assignment why is all this happening to me but no no paul chose to praise god uh, and we know that uh, after this the jailer and his entire family came to know the lord jesus christ and all this was possible because paul and silas continued uh, in an attitude of worship in an attitude of thanksgiving and today uh, each one of us we could be going through our set of trials and we might have questions arising uh, in our hearts uh, but let's know that god is faithful now we don't have all the answers to why these things happen to us but in our trials we can still choose to thank god we can still choose to praise god now i'm not saying that we must thank god for the trial not at all because uh, jesus through his life he showed us that we must always work against the works of the devil yes we want to get out of the trial we don't want the trial so we don't thank god for the trial but we thank god in the trial and that shows us uh, how strong our walk with the lord is uh, and, and you know it, it reveals to us that we continue to look at god as our deliverer romans 8:28 that we often quote all things work together for good to those who love the lord and who are called uh, uh, accord- by his name so even though we may be going through trials one thing we are sure of is the fact that god is our deliverer he has promised us the victory and we are conquerors uh, through christ jesus and and all of this is definitely going to work together for his glory and for our good and, and in that faith we continue to thank god we continue to praise god and uh, when we especially thank god in our difficult times uh, that's when he is greatly glorified uh, and, and you know god comes through for us uh, in a powerful way because he sees that our hearts are faithful towards him you know god shows his power on behalf of those whose hearts are faithful to him so let's thank god in our trials not for our trials but in our trials let's pray together heavenly father this day lord we pray that our hearts will be strengthened in you lord those of us who are going through situations uh, that we don't understand father god even in those situations lord help us to hold on to you help us oh god to uh, always fix our eyes on you and to know that you are our deliverer that lord you will cause us oh god to conquer in all things and lord because you will do this for us lord we give you the glory lord we give you the praise in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org